Well, this is the launch of the annual Organ Donor and Awareness Campaign, which will start next Saturday and go on for a week. And it's our volunteers, the patients and their carers and friends, going out to the public, giving them donor cards, and indeed asking them would they help fund us. 75% of our funding is non-statutory, and we, we need these essential funds. Ireland was in the top five countries donating organs across Europe. We've slipped back to beyond 10. So we need to change our clinical practice inside our hospitals. And there is a whole plan to do that. But that practice changing could help so that more people who are potential organ donors will be identified and will become actual organ donors. But we need a whole process there. But without the public, none of this will happen. Probably the most important thing is, that, is the awareness of being able to donate organs in the case of, of a tragic accident or indeed, as my own case, was a living donation, which was just the most wonderful gift I ever got in my life. When I was 18, I actually decided I was going to be an, an organ donor. And, um, 18, you know, that was when I was 18, a long time ago, I carried an organ donor. And I never thought there was such thing as living donation. Um, and then all of a sudden, my husband ends up in trouble. So I was lucky enough to be able to donate. It was quite serious. It was an intensive care. But the result of it was that I ended up with kidney disease. Um, so I managed with my medical team. Uh, in Bowmount Hospital and medication and lifestyle to to keep going for nearly 10 years before I actually had to start dialysis. But it was always a question of when I started dialysis as opposed to if I would start dialysis. So we always knew that was going to happen. People on dialysis are quite ill and um, it's a treatment that they have to have every second day and for people who are having dialysis at home it's every night. So it's quite draining. You're on a very restricted diet and your time really is not your own. You know, every uh, second day Pordic was preparing for dialysis, he would do a full day at work and then after work he would go to dialysis for four hours um, and then he'd be home by 11 totally exhausted and drained. So it meant that we couldn't have a weekend away. It was very difficult. So I was on dialysis luckily only for 18 months uh, and my wife went forward as a living donor. Miraculously it was a match and last November we ended up with a transplant and my life has changed completely since. To me it was a no-brainer that he should, I should go forward and, and donate my, my kidney if I could. It's absolutely wonderful. I cannot I can't explain it. I think I'm still, it's like falling in love all over again, being on a honeymoon together. It's just, it's just wonderful.